Hello everyone. Today we will solve the linear equation by using the op amp. Here you can see we have a circuit, right? And I think you already saw the thumbnail where we have a two equations. Okay. If we solve that particular two equation by using op amp, then we will get this circuit. Okay. And this output, this node is the value of the y, and this node will give you the value of the x. Okay. That means the output of the op amp 2 will give us the x value. That means this voltmeter will read the x value. And output of the op amp 1, that means this voltmeter will read the y value. Okay. So this is the x and this is y. Okay. So you can see that this circuit is already simulated. This is running. And you can see the output of the op amp 2 is reading minus 4.33 volt. Okay. And the output of the op amp 1 is reading 733 millivolt. Right. And that is exactly matched with the solution of this equation. Here you can see the output of the op amp 2 will give us the value of minus 4.33 volt, right? That means the value of x is minus 4.33 and the value of y is 0 0.733, okay? And if we solve this particular two equation, then we will get the exactly same data. That means the x will be minus 4.33 and y will be 0 0.733, okay? So, when you get this question in the exam, then you need to draw this circuit, okay? But how I draw this circuit? So, let's go to the pen and paper and I will explain you how I build this circuit by using BAT2 equation and op amp, okay? So, let's do it. First equation is x plus 10y is 3 and second equation is 2x plus 5y equal to minus 5, okay? So, first we will take the first equation. From the first equation, we can get x equal to 3 minus 10y, okay? And from the second equation, we can get y equal to minus 2 by 5 into x minus 5 by 5, okay? These two. Now, we already know that the adder circuit of the op amp is looks like this one, okay? I already have one video of the adder circuit in my channel, okay? So, this is an inverting adder amplifier. Suppose this is R1, this is R2, and this is Rf. If this is V1 and V2, we can write down V0 is equal to minus Rf by R1 into V1 minus Rf by R2 into V2. Okay, we already know this one. So, what do we need to do? We just need to compare this equation with equation 3 and equation 4. Then we will get the value of Rf, R1, V1. Rf, R2 and V2, then we can just draw two circuit and that we will cascade for that two particular circuit, okay? So, first, what we need to do, we need to calculate the value of R1, R2 and Rf and V1, V2, okay? So, if I compare this equation with the first equation x equal to 3 minus 10y, then we can get here V0 will be x, okay? And this 3 equal to, we can write down 30 by 10 and this will be 30 by 3. Y, okay that means here if i compare this one then we can get rf will be 30 right and r1 will be 10 and r2 will be 3 here you can see v2 will be equal to y and v1 will be equal to minus 1 why minus 1 you can see this is plus sign right so here this will be minus 1 yeah this if this v1 is minus 1 then minus and minus will be plus okay so we already got the information from the equation 3 okay now go to the equation 4 equation 4 is y equal to minus 2 by 5 into x y is equal to minus 2 by 5 into x and minus 5 by 5 okay into 1 now here you can see there is one problem problem is the output equation v0 is equal to minus rf by r1 into v1 minus rf by r2 into v2 right that means in both the numerator will be rf or the same but here you can see this is 2 this is 5 right so what you need to do we need to change the numerator so we can rewrite this equation equal to minus 2 by 5 into x minus 2 by 2 into 1 okay now you can see we can write down rf equal to 2 okay and r1 will be 5 and r2 will be 2 okay so here v1 will be equal to x and v2 equal to 1 okay so first i draw this open circuit so we can draw like that this will be one resistance this will be another resistance okay 
and this will be the feedback resistance RF. So here you can see this is RF equal to how much? RF is equal to 2K. Okay. And R1 will be how much? R1 will be equal to 5K. And here V1 is X, right? And V2 is how much? V2 is 1 volt. Okay. And R2 is 2 kilo ohm. Okay. Now we already got the first op amp circuit. Okay. Now we draw the second op amp circuit. We already got the value here. You can see RF, R1, R2. V2 and V1, right? So if I draw the open circuit here, or if I just put the value here, you can see here RF will be equal to 30k, R1 equal to 10k, okay, R2 equal to 3k, and V2 equal to y and V1 equal to minus 1. Okay, then V0 will be equal to how much? V0 will be x. Okay, so we already got two circuit, right? The first circuit, if I just copy and paste these two circuit. In the next page, so here you can see I take the equation for here and equation 3 here. Okay, now you can see that here V2 is equal to Y, right? And here also this output is Y. So, what we can do, we can just connect this one. That means we just connect the output of the first op amp Y in the next op amp circuit. Okay, and here we connect a voltmeter to read the value of Y. Okay. And here we connect another voltmeter to read the value of x. Okay, here you can see this input is x, right? So, what we need to do? We need to connect this input with the output, right? So, just connect this one, right? So, here you can see that this circuit is exactly same with the what I show in the simulation. And if you got this problem in the exam, then you need to do the thing like this. First, take out the value of x and y and draw the adder circuit, compare the equation with the adder output and connect the two circuit together and build the final circuit. Okay. And I already show you in the simulation that this voltmeter and this voltmeter will give you the exactly the same output, right? That means you will get x equal to minus 4.33 and y is equal to 0. 733 volt. Okay, so that's all for this video. This is the linear equation solution by using op amp. In my next video, I will do the differential equation solution by using op amp. Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me. Bye bye.